Hi, this is Mrs. O'Flynn. Today we're going to talk about how to evaluate logarithms. And we're going to start with this first example here, log base 2 of 8. Now the question I would ask myself to determine the answer to a problem like this, if my base is 2, my question would be 2 to what power would give me an answer of 8? I know that 2 to the third power is 8. So my answer is that log base 2 of 8 would be equal to 3. Logarithm equals the exponent. Here's another example. Log of 10,000. Now if no base is indicated, I know that this would be base 10. So the question I would ask myself is that 10 to the what power would give me an answer of 10,000? Since 10 to the fourth power is 10,000, then I know that the answer is 4. Now we're going to talk about how to evaluate logs that involve powers. And the first example here is log base 2 of 4 to the third power. There are two different methods I'm going to show you for evaluating a problem like this. The first thing, I guess one way that I could evaluate this would be to go ahead and simplify 4 to the third power first. So I know that 4 to the third power is 64. Then the question I would ask myself is 2 to what power gives me 64? And I know that the answer is 6. The second method I could use would be to use the power property for logarithms to simplify this problem first. The power property for logarithms says that log base 2 of 4 to the third would be the same as log base 2 of 4 multiplied by 3. And so now I can evaluate this portion because I know that log base 2 of 4 is 2 and then I could multiply these in again, get an answer of 6. I'm going to use that property to help me evaluate this expression that contains a natural log. So for natural logs, um, the question is e to what power is going to be equal to e to the fifth. If I expand this using the power property, this expression is the same as 5 times the natural log of e. And I know that the natural log of e is 1 because e to the first power would be e. And so my answer is 5. I'd like to look at this problem a little more in depth because it is kind of a special case where the base of the logarithm, natural log would be log base e, and the base of the argument are the same. These are the same base, they're both base e. And we found that when we had log base e of e to the fifth, our answer was 5. Let's look at another example and see if we can determine a pattern. So I'm going to use log base 3 of 9. Now I know that 9 can be rewritten as 3 to the second power because 9 is a perfect square. And I'm going to go ahead and use the power property to expand this. So that means that this would be equivalent to log base 3 of 3 all multiplied by 2. Now log base 3 of 3 would be 1 and so my final answer here would be 2. Again, when I have an expression written where the bases are the same. This is log base 3 and my expression is also has a base of 3. Then we notice that the answer we got 
was the power. So in general, if I have an expression log base b of b to the n power, I know that the answer is going to be n. I'd like to look a little bit more at some of the common bases that you'll encounter when you're working with logarithms. Here we have an expression, the log of 10. Now if no base is indicated, we're working with base 10. It's just understood that we have a base of 10 there if it's not indicated. So the question I would ask myself is 10 to what power is 10? And I know that that would be 10 to the first power. Second question here, again base 10, log base 10 of 20. The question is 10 to what power would be 20? Now this I don't know. Look at this, 10 to the first is 10, uh, 10 to the second power is 100. It's one point something, but I have no idea what it is. So this is a problem where I'm going to use a calculator. On my TI-89, I don't have a button that says just log. Many calculators do, this one doesn't. So I'm going to have to find log in my catalog. And I want the log of 20. Just type the log of 20. And the decimal approximation would be 1.301. which seems reasonable here. The second question I have, natural log of e to the second power. So we're going to look at some expressions that use base e. And natural log of e to the second, the question I would ask myself, the question I would ask myself is e to what power is e squared? And it makes sense that the answer would be 2. Second problem here, natural log of 3. The question is e to what power is 3? Well, I know that e to the first power is approximately 2.718. I know that it's a little bit more than 1, but again, without a calculator, I don't know the answer. So I'm going to use my calculator to, my calculator to evaluate this. And right here I have natural log. I'm going to type natural log of 3. And the decimal approximation is about 1.098. And here's another problem. I have log base 3 of 10. The question I would ask myself is 3 to what power is 10? And I don't know. So for a problem like this, this, I don't have a button on my calculator that says log base 3. I have log base 10 and I have log base e, natural log. So I'm going to have to use the change of base formula. And in general terms, change of base formula says that log base b of a would be equivalent to log base n of a divided by log base n of b, where these bases are the same, any bases would do. If I'm going to be using this to evaluate an expression on my calculator, I'm usually going to use the natural or the common log base 10 or natural log. So in this case, I'm going to use natural log because that's what my calculator has. I have natural log of 10 divided by in this case I'm going to use natural log because that's what my calculator has. So I'm going to evaluate the natural log of 10 divided by the natural log of 3, which is approximately 2.095.